A, a moot is usually like a mock trial, but in this case, actually, it's a negotiation. So in the case of the Kwaskaman moot, it's a non-adversarial negotiation. So usually what happens with this moot specifically, it's on an Indigenous issue. So what happens is we create a moot problem. If you are the facility or the faculty that is hosting the event, and uh, usually the parties around the table, they range, but usually a lot of times it's First Nations party or multiple, usually a government, federal government, usually a provincial government, and a lot of times maybe a potential uh, tribal council, or in some cases, uh, multiple resource proponents or like a coalition. For Alaskan Faculty of Law in Daji Kekino Mage, a Nawitike Ma Bimikwe Ijinakazochkae Mie. So, just an introduction about who I am. My name is Cassandra. I'm currently studying at the Bor Alaskan Faculty of Law. I'm from the community of Mishki Gogaming, and I am of the Anishinaabe people. Everybody kind of has a common goal in mind, and that's to work together to try to. Um, create a relationship between the Canadian legal system and Indigenous legal systems. So once uh, we were able to come to an agreement about what we're doing at the table, it became a lot easier to negotiate with one another and become more comfortable and kind of prioritize or center the conversation around um, Indigenous law and specifically revitalizing Indigenous legal orders. It offers students across the, the country to kind of grapple with Indigenous law. I think it's an up and coming area of law that we're beginning to study. And so it gives students the opportunity to think critically about how an issue may be solved or come to an agreement about using Indigenous law. Um, currently, we're still thinking so much within the Canadian legal framework. This moot offers us the opportunity to reimagine how um, the, the plethora of laws that exist here, Indigenous law, civil and common law, can interact with one another, have a relationship to one another, and I think it's a great opportunity to share kind of the beauty about the diverse Indigenous legal orders that exist here. We represented the First Nation Alliance. We came to the negotiation table through Anishinaabe diplomacy in the process called Migas Sapikan, where you hang a wampum belt on the front of your canoe as you travel. And the goal of it is to reach the negotiation safely and be able to uh, participate in it. Once there, we, we proposed the proposal of the Four Directions Relationship, which is built on the Sequepimak Law of Observation, which looks into the all directions to find laws, guidance, and knowledge. And based on this proposal, we were able to come to an agreement with the SSN First Nation, the Kamloops Tisikwapamak, and the Blueberry River First Nation. Um, so it's a very exciting relationship that works to uphold the legal orders of one another and call on advice or participation from one another when dealing with the natural resource sector of Canada. Also, on a very personal note, uh, we've come to the, the negotiation with a birch bark basket, which has been made from our territory. The birch bark basket itself has, maybe you wanna walk around. We have a lovely showman right here. Um, so the birch bark basket has sweetgrass around the top, or wingashk. The sweetgrass was gifted to us by um, a woman named Josephine Mendam in Bun, who was a very revered elder in our territory. <laughs> yeah, round of applause for Josephine. Um, Josephine Mendam in Bun was a very revered elder in our territory that initiated water walks to protect waterways and also to raise awareness about the power of women and indigenous legal orders. So we were gifted the sweetgrass from the family, uh, her husband who's now surviving. And then the birch bark itself is made from the Fort William First Nation or in Nimiki Waju territory and the Pelche family uh, made it. So Helen Pelche herself, who works to uphold the legal orders of the trees. <laughs> yeah, another round of applause. Um, so Matthew and myself uh, have committed ourselves to upholding Indigenous legal orders and very specifically Anishinaabe legal orders. This is our personal commitment and we wanted to gift it to uh, the local people of this region as a personal commitment to also uphold your legal orders. Um, and this also aligns with the Bora Alaskan Faculty of Law's commitment to revitalizing Indigenous legal orders. My hope would be that if this moot was unique and wonderful, 
that it stops being unique and wonderful for the people that did it because it becomes normal. Because these ways of discussing things, the attention to these issues just becomes something that we all do. Settler, non-settler, all the time. The Houses of Parliament change. Everything changes to be more inclusive, to better reflect, as I say, the, the reality of all the peoples here. So, I mean, it's special, but I almost hope one day it's not so special because everything is like this.